Hey y'all, good morning. So I had several people ask how I do my contouring for my makeup. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I just show you guys? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how I contour. So I all I have on right now, the reason I look like I'm like really sick. I hate whenever people ask you and you don't wear makeup. Are you feeling okay? Do you feel bad? No, no, I'm just not covered in makeup. But anyway, this is just foundation on. Um, I don't have any eye makeup on. My hair's not done. I'm looking hot mess. But anyway, so I want to show you guys how to do contouring. It's like this newest, biggest thing, and it's like, you know, everybody's doing it. And I remember whenever I first tried to learn how to contour, I looked on YouTube, and I found like a thousand different videos. I'm like, I just don't understand, because everybody would show you like where stuff goes, but they didn't show me how to blend it or what to do after you get it on your face or what type of product to recommend. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. And if y'all want to do the same thing, so I bought this little guy on eBay. It's a color palette, and it's got like all your darks and your mid-tones and then it's got like your corrective colors. I went on eBay and searched for a color or I think I searched like contour palette and I paid seven dollars for this guy including shipping so it, you don't have to spend a bunch of money. They also have something similar at Walmart. Um, I think that like I saw L'Oreal's making something like this now I think but anyway you guys need to invest in this. This is awesome. Okay so you're gonna need that and you're gonna need one of these guys. If you don't have one, they're super fun. They're squishy. They're squishy. And they go really far when you throw them. Hold on. Oh, crap. I'm back. Okay. I found, I found my squishy. Okay. So, you're going to need one of these guys. Very important. Okay? This is your friend. All right. So, I always start with, like, my darkest color first that I use, and I'm going to use this guy. So I'm going to show you how I do this. I just take my little, back away, take my little squeaker, and I just kind of rub it around in there just a little bit just to get some on the bottom of it. And this is where I start. You want to look, like, where your ear is, and you want to come down like a line, like you're going to the bottom of your nose or, like, right below your nose on each side. That's your line you want to do. That's like that. It gives you that definition of a cheekbone. Um, you also want to go around the top of your line here, all the way around, and you want to kind of blend it in as close as you can to your eyebrow because it gives you like a more natural look. But this is just for the dark. All right, so I'm going to show you guys. When I get done, you guys are going to be like, oh my God, that girl looks crazy. Yeah, it does. And you don't have to buy a color palette. Like, you can also um, just invest in a, um, like, don't spend a lot of money, but invest in different colors of makeup, you know? Like a pale, pasty white girls, you know? We don't need super, super dark stuff. But that's kind of what the dark looks like. And I know you guys saw me do my nose. If you do like a small line on your nose on this side, a small line on this side, and then like connect it on the bottom, yeah, like that. And then like you want to come right here and just kind of go down, right here, and go down, like that, all right? Then you're going to take a lighter color. I always use this guy. I like him. I don't know why. He just, he looks good with my pasty skin. So I'm going to take that guy. I'm going to rub my sponge all around in it, get all happy. And um, you want the lighter color to go like from the corner of your eyes in and up. Like imagine a triangle. And you also want to put it here and here. So I'm going to do that real quick. In fact, I'm going to probably pause this so I can get it all on and then I'll show you. So hold on just a second. All right. And I didn't show you guys this either, but you want to do it down the center of your nose too. Just like that. I promise you're not going to look like this for long, okay? But anyways, whenever you get all of that on, now you're kind of ready for the blending process. So you take your sponge and you're going to do it in like little circular motions like, like that. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you start to blend.
And I know you guys think this takes a long time, but once you get the hang of it, it doesn't take long at all. The only reason it's taking me as long as it is is because I'm doing the tutorial for you guys. But it's so awesome because it's like the Photoshop of makeup and anybody can do it. And it's not expensive. Like you don't have to go buy super expensive products to get this look. And I just I love that because I'm super cheap and I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup. I'm not one of those girls. Like I just I'm all about that elf lifestyle and you know, um, New York and company or whatever. Yeah. And like I try to, whenever I blend the lighter in, I kind of try to go outwards with it. So it blends really nice with the darker color. So I go outward with it. I didn't know what I was going to turn out like, did you? You're kind of scared, weren't you? I could tell. It's okay. It's all right. You can be honest with me. All right. And um, like when you get done, make sure in this area, like you blend it really well into your hairline because you don't want there to be like a super big makeup difference there. Um, I know I've seen that on myself and it drives me crazy that nobody told me. So I'm telling you guys, check it. All right. And so once you get it all blended, this is your final product. And um, my lighting's not really great in here, but I always like to try to add a little bit of blush to. I kind of started there. Um, you don't have to, this is your choice, but I always like to add a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how I blend that. So then I just put that on the top of it, you know, kind of like on the top of my cheekbone. Like that. All right, get that red little, no, I'm just kidding. All right, so I'm gonna do that, and then you don't have to have like a fancy brushes, okay? I think I bought a brush set for seven or eight bucks. I've used that same set. I'm on an Ipsy bag. If you guys don't have Ipsy, you need to go online, look up Ipsy, and sign up for it. It's like seven bucks a month, but they send you awesome stuff. And it's only seven bucks, that's doable. And if you're not on the Walmart Beauty Box list, you need to go check that out too, because the Walmart Beauty Box comes with a bunch of stuff too, and it's only five bucks every season. Anyway, so I take the brush and I just kind of swirl it around, mix it all together, like peas and carrots. All right, all right, and so I'm done. And I'll put like powder on top of this, and then I'll do my eye makeup. So contouring is not hard. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be as simple or extreme as you want it to be that's your choice but anyway I just wanted to show you guys because I had several people ask me and I remember how lost I was when I first started this process so I shared it with you guys I hope you have a great day I'm gonna do my best see you later